Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday. In today's video we're going to be looking at three different mods but these mods are really tiny, they're like minuscule. So I thought yeah let's just put them in one video so I can just get them over with. These are all mods that kind of change like the appearance of Minecraft but it adds a lot of cool features which I like a lot and yeah that's why I'm, ma I'm making this video. And I hope you enjoy it, so let's get straight into it. The mod we're going to be starting off with is going to be the Loot Beams. This mod adds Loot Beams, um, like if any of you played Fortnite before. Um, the common loot has like the white um, Loot Beams and like the Epic Rarity has purple and Legendary has yellow, that sort of stuff, but then in Minecraft. So I have this little pressure plate li right here and when we press it, we can see Ooh, comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe you should do that. Um, but yeah, this is a normal apple. This is an, a golden apple, and this is an enchanted golden apple. So as you can see, the apple is just a normal, like, item. So it has white, and as you can see, we can see it from a long way back. If we don't look at it, it doesn't show the name, but if we look at it, we can see the name. And this is also a client-side mod, so it can be used on servers. So... When we pick these up, as you can see, we have a white name, a blue name, and a purple name. And they will showcase like this in the overworld, which is really cool, and I like it a lot. So, if in your inventory you have um, a white name, it's going to show um, a white loot beam. If it has a blue name, it will show a blue loot beam. And if it's purple, it will show a purple loot beam. So, it isn't that hard. It's um, pretty straightforward, but... I really like it. So yeah, that's it for the loot beams. Uh, pretty short um, explanation. We're going to look at the traveler's titles right here. We're going to go to the plains biome and as you can see, it shows us a nice little plains text when we go here. And I really like that that's going to happen with every biome you get and go into. It's going to show the biome name on your screen and it's really nice. I really like that. And yeah, it just adds, I don't know, a little bit more depth into the game. And I really like that. So, for our last mod, which is, uh, yeah, this is going to be one of my shortest videos yet. <laughs> we have the Visual Workbench mod. And as you can see, our Diamond Sword is just floating right here. Pretty chill. Because we put the crafting materials into the chest, uh, into the, whoa, into... The crafting table and as you can see with this mod you can actually use a crafting table as a storage unit which is really cool we can even like put a crafting recipe in and it'll show you what you're making so we just made a diamond sword which isn't that wow but this works with every crafting recipe as you can see we're going to make a furnace if you put um our four planks in here we're going to make another crafting table we can make a chest it's going to show you a nice 3d model every time and before you ask it even works with modded items which is really cool i really like that and as you can see if we change sides it's going to change the direction of our crafting recipe which is really dope but we could also put these things in here and it would keep them in there so it won't just take all the items out and put them back into your inventory like a normal crafting table but it will keep them in here and as you can see we just made a modded item with a really cool modded 3d like um preview which is really cool well guys that's going to be it for today's video i really hope you did enjoy it and if you did be sure to leave a like leave a comment and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like these from me and yeah, until the next video, bye bye.